Hi and welcome back to VR Puppet Builds. Today I'm working with a piece of scrap fur. Now I bought this big bag of scrap fur from um, Etsy, a lady on Etsy, and um, these are great for making puppet hair. And I'm just going to show you today how I'm just going to manipulate this piece of scrap. It's no particular shape, it's just how I pulled it out of the bag. And um, I'm just going to show you how you then you can put it on a puppet's head by um, just not really doing a whole lot to it, but just um, the way that you glue it on. All right, I've glued one edge here, and I showed you in my last video this um, great silicon mat and tools that come with it. And um, they're just for using with hot glue, and these are great, the finger um, little protectors as well. And then you can use... Um, the wedge shape here just to push your glue around you've got you've got the tweezers and you've got this tool here which is I'm not it's just got a pointed end on it so you know you just use it however um, you need to so I'm just going to glue down a couple of my edges as well with the hot glue just so I don't see those raw edges And these tools are great because they don't stick to um, the the hot glue and if you do get hot glue on it you just rub it like that and it comes straight off all right so I'll do this edge down here just a part of it and then I'll show you what I'm going to do on the puppet Alright, so I've got the front of my wig here all glued down nicely so you don't see that raw edge. I'll bring my puppet in. So this is going to be then the fringe part. And I want the fringe to sort of go on an angle on this puppet. But I wanted it to come down a little bit over the eyes. Okay, and then I've got this big long piece here that I'm just um, going to manipulate around and glue together so that the hair will end up sticking up, but it won't be the hair. It'll just be the way that that, um, that you concave that um, piece of fur. Okay, so what I might do, I just need to play with this. I haven't got it... Um, um, I haven't done one like this before, so it's just all a bit of experiment. And um, I'm just seeing where that could connect and come up. So I'm thinking even, even if I just join my um, fur like that, then I'm on the right track. So I need to... Put some glue along here. So it's just a matter of manipulating the shape that you have into where you'd like it to go. And I don't want to see those raw edges in here, but you know when you fluff the fur out. Um, that hides anyway. So just make sure that's all glued together before you go on to the next piece. And I can see a little bit at the top here, so I'll just put a little bit more glue in there. And close that together. And then the fur will all become one piece then. Let's check it around here. I can then just glue this flap here down. I don't want to, um, I probably shouldn't have put any glue on that piece because the hair is going that way. It's usually where the hair um, is going in the other direction. You don't want to see this little raw edge. I need to put that back on my finger. Alright, 
and I'll just leave that edge like that. Alright, so I've made like a little cap. Okay, and then I'm just going to go ahead then and glue it on the poppet. Now you could put a little bit of stuffing up there. That could work okay. But I think I'll just leave it because I just I don't want it stiff. I just um, want to make it look like um, he's got a really tall piece of hair. But just using that scrap. Alright, so pick where you want the fringe. Usually the fur is running toward the back of the hair. At where the eyes and eyebrows would be. And just put some hot glue there. And I'm going to come down over the eyes on this one. So just put your hand up in the puppet. And just press down on that area. Had too low. So get that first section on, and then you can make your way round the puppet. Mana, mana. Do, 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 do. Mana, mana. Give it a fluff out. Alright, and that's how um, I use my first scraps to uh, make some hair. Don't go to any trouble to cut it in any particular size. Take out the first scrap and see what shape it is. And you can come up with an interesting shape hair like this one. And um, have some fun with it. Okay, I hope you've enjoyed and thanks for watching. Bye.